So what the hell is really going on? Because right now, there's so many things happening, a lot of things don't necessarily make sense or line up, that we have to at least question what we're waiting for. And I'm worried that we're waiting for something like the midterm elections, right? And then we're going to see some escalation and intensity increase thereafter, because right now, everybody's trying their best to keep the lid on everything, at least until they know for a fact maybe they can still hold on to some power, or whatever it is that we're in a holding pattern for. But that's very much what it feels like right now. We have Steadfast Noon going on, which is NATO's nuclear exercise. It just began in Belgium. And of course, that's concerning because it's nuclear in nature and it's in proximity to a possible nuclear conflict. So I think we have reason to be concerned about what that could possibly escalate into. We have China stopping the sale of liquid natural gas to foreign countries because they're concerned about having enough resources for their own country throughout this impending winter, which we know liquid natural gas is going to be in high demand and short supply. We have Russia destroying all of Ukraine's infrastructure, and they've already wiped out a third of their power stations, and they're working on taking out more. And of course, the people in that area are going to be having a very difficult time come this winter, especially when we start talking about these resources like China is now cutting off the sale of. We also have the food security update from the World Bank, which shows wheat is up 18% from last year, and rice is up 10% from last year. So Everything's getting more expensive, everything's getting harder to come by, resources are dwindling, and conflict is likely, and yet, even after all of that, a top news headline right now is talking about the fact that American scientists have publicly announced the development of an 80% kill rate strain of COVID. Now, I find that very interesting, because in the past, when have they announced all these different gain-of-function research items where they have developed a more deadly version of a virus? When has that been front-page news, and when has that been something that they're willing to publicly share with everyone just to say, look what we did, isn't it amazing? There should be some level of concern surrounding that story, and not concern around the fact that they have this virus they made that is a strain of COVID with an 80% kill rate. The concern should be the fact that they're publicly sharing it with everyone and telling you about it directly right on the front page of the news. That is where a lot of my concern comes into play, because I'm wondering, what is the purpose of this telegraphing? What is the purpose of this information? And why are things in this sort of holding pattern feel of a scenario right now until, I don't know, maybe after some point of November, we definitely need to be keeping our eyes out. There's a lot of weird stuff being put out there, and there's a lot of things that are here to remind us that prepping really is the only way to do it at this point in time. It doesn't matter if you're starting today or if you started 10 years ago, we're still on the right track because none of this is necessarily adding up. All it does is remind us that things are very unstable right now and that there are things happening that haven't necessarily happened in the past that we're being expected to look at in the sense of normalcy. I don't see it being very normal at all. and I don't think you do either. So I just wanted to kind of have this conversation because I, like, like what is going on? What is seriously going on? And if you guys want to jump in the comments and start talking about things like Agenda 2030 and everything else related to that kind of stuff, I mean, I totally get it at this point because how else do you explain some of this stuff that's happening? How else do you explain some of this information? And how else do you explain the fact that we have economists and public officials still saying, well, like, we're not quite sure if we're in a recession yet, but it's starting to really look like we're on our way to one. Are these people even living in real life? Have they even been to any kind of store at all in the last year or two? I mean, I don't even know what else to say. I don't care about your economic indicators anymore. Things are really expensive and really getting tight for most of your average American families. So what are we waiting for, right? I think you should be asking yourself that question right now. And I think that as a community, we could definitely have this conversation. Without anything else to say about it, it's going to be it for Magic Prepper.